Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back. Let's talk about myeloma. This is episode two. My name's Martin Giles, uh, coming to you from Malmö, Sweden. Just having my morning coffee, packing up some gear uh, to go out and film what I think should be talked about with myeloma. I've asked you guys online, you've given me great responses. Two subjects we're gonna talk about today is coping with bad news and the other one is finding a norm. Can we find a norm within myeloma or after uh, myeloma stem cell transplants? Anyway, I won't carry on anymore. Let's get going and uh, hit the road. Hi everybody, how are you doing? As I said, coming to episode two of Let's Talk About Myeloma. Uh, what we're gonna mainly talk about now, uh, a lot of you have said, is how to cope with bad news. So, I thought I'd uh, start with the first subject, really. I have to use my uh, glasses and a bit of prompting, I've got a terrible memory. Anyway, coping with bad news. I think there's two kinds of bad news myself. Everything I'm really saying, I have to do a disclaimer here. You know, this is just what I feel and sometimes what people ask me. Anyway, I think there's two kinds of bad news. Really, it's the first, when you're diagnosed and when you've been in remission um, and you relapse. I think they're one together and that's the hardest one, I think. That's, um, I remember back in September 2011 when I was diagnosed with uh, uh, myeloma it was it hit hard it really did uh, and then in 2016 uh, 2015 I should say uh, going into 2016 I relapsed and that hit hard as well that was like almost like the first diagnosis the second I think the second um, bad news is when you're going and getting blood tests and maybe you have things um, like when the doctor tells you you've got to go on different medication. Uh, another thing is definitely the skeleton x-rays when you have an x-ray and it shows that you have bone lesions uh, because usually, if I'm not mistaken, is that when they do come up on the x-ray they're about 30% of the way through. Uh, another thing is, is, I think personally when I was going for my blood test, uh, every month or every six weeks it was knowing that the end spike was going up that that was tough for me that, what, that was tough but the thing is how do we cope with it how do we cope with this uh, so-called bad news uh, I'm trying I try and be realistic okay I honestly try and be realistic I know I have multiple myeloma uh, I know that I'm in remission now. I go for my blood test and the end spike is really almost non-existent. But you do know that it's there. Uh, and to be realistic, that I know when I get that email from my doctor saying, Martin, can you go and retake your blood test? I have a, basically a good idea that maybe it's relapsed. So I try not to get surprised because it's those bad news surprises that are hardest to cope with. Um, I guess after seven years uh, and talking to you guys and being on these forums, I've learned a lot, I've heard a lot, I've, I've been to different conferences. Um, be wiser. Um, one of the messages I did get was actually from one of my countrymen, uh, I wrote in English though, uh, it was Stefan Hogland, he wrote, very good idea, Martin. I'd like you to include your family and friends in this. Uh, how to tell them? What can they do to support us? Both we and our relatives get depressed. What is best to do to feel better? Okay, that, that, I think that's a really good question. I personally, I'm personally very careful what I say to my family. Uh, I, I want it to be factual. I don't want them to panic because I try not to panic. Um, it's staying in control maybe. Um, the first time I had treatment, I, my partner 
uh, then, uh, did almost everything for me. She, she was a nurse and she, she counted out my medicine, she, she decided on everything for me and I didn't really know. The second time was different, I had to do it myself and I felt that, let's just say everybody's different here isn't it, everybody's families, but sometimes, it's difficult to say, but sometimes I think that, that there can be more panic than you need. Okay, bad news is bad news, whatever you do. Um, it doesn't just have to be the cancer, everyday life, losing a job, uh, having an accident, crashing the car or something. Um, pick your fights, maybe. Uh, going back to be realistic again. Uh, what can they actually do? They support you, yeah. Uh, you say, how can you make it feel better? better for who? Who has the cancer? Uh, it is very difficult for them but as well we need the energy we have to cope with this and this is very important. Um, as I say everybody is different and it, it takes a lot of energy. Back again, you didn't even know I went did you? Uh, the battery ran out on my uh, camera which it does occasionally. Uh, so I had to change it. Anyway, um, back again. I just want to read um, a message I got from uh, a lady called Debbie Brooks. Uh, she wrote, um, I have found that the best part of my bonus time, I guess bonus time would be remission maybe, uh, is that I have gotten to spend more time with my adult kids and their babies. I was a single mum so I miss out a lot. It sounds stupid, but this cancer gave me something I never had. Wow, Debbie, I, I, I think that is the most positive thing I have heard for a long time. I, I try to take every negative and turn it into a positive, but that is incredible. Uh, and it's maybe, I mean, maybe you don't feel that, but it's definitely a way to think about it though, isn't it? Um, I, I do think sometimes we dwell on what is negative and we should look around us and see what is maybe positive uh, and maybe that would be a way to cope. Maybe that would be a way to cope with that bad news that before going out and telling it to everybody and getting depressed or getting down, maybe seriously see if there is a light at the end of that mile or on the tunnel. Anyway guys, uh, I'm going to move on a little bit. I'm baking in the sun, so I'm going to go and find a bit of shade. And we're going to talk about myeloma, the normal life. Is there a norm? Okay, speak to you soon. Hi everybody, uh, back again uh, to finish off really um, talk about su second subject, uh, normal. Is there a normal life uh, when you have myeloma? It's difficult to say isn't it? Uh, I think we have a different life from the millisecond uh, that bomb was dropped that you have myeloma. Uh, I personally don't think there really is uh, a norm or a normal. Uh, when I think back on before I had myeloma, well, I had uh, two, three jobs, worked 12 hours a day, drank way too much, over uh didn't hardly see the kids or anything. Is that normal? If that is normal, I don't want it back. Um, 
I think something that we've got to think about uh, when we talk about normal is often we're all different as well. We, we come from different countries, we have different social backgrounds, uh, all, all that kind of thing as well. So what is normal to me wouldn't be normal to somebody else. Uh, as well as I believe is that, as I said, when your life is changed so drastically, uh, you have those different things like fatigue, you have pain, you have um, the medicines you have to take all the time, uh, you don't feel good in the morning, you can't get up or anything. Is that normal? I mean, that's normal to us maybe. I think the main thing is, I think the main thing is speaking about normal is to try and have a good life. I think you've got to accept what it is. I think you've got to look and say, right, I've got to make my own normal. So going back to the normal part, that is my normal life now. I've got to plan things. Um, to say you can't have a good life, so that's maybe what we should talk about, isn't living a normal life with multiple myeloma, but more like living a good life with myeloma. Maybe that's a new subject. Anyway, guys, uh, it's getting late. I'm going to head off home. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to try and do more. As I said, I have lots of subjects. I'll write the subjects on, on the description below. Uh, please, if you enjoyed this, hit or smash that little thumbs up button. It really does help. It you knows feedback is great. Put your comments below. I really do want to hear them and I really do answer them. I try and answer every message or, or comment I get. Sometimes it's very hard to give a long answer because there's so many, but I really do try. But guys, we're all in this together in ways. We all have myeloma. We always try and fight and help each other. So until the next time, take care, hugs, bye.